Got back again here at Average Best Cornhole and got a familiar face and a new uh, BG here to talk about. Yeah, so everybody knows BG and uh, we figured we'd revisit these Wizard Elves a little bit. Only because we needed something to throw this brand new bag to Valkyries against. The unique bag, uh, it has an exclusive slow side material that takes forever to break in. Uh, it's still pretty fast, but a good bag. All right, getting into uh, you know, some of the baggage here on these speeds. So the new Valkyries are a uh, 9.6. Compared to, yeah. you know, we had a five and a half rating on, uh, you know, the Wizard Elves. We might have, uh, you know, different feelings about, you know, what those speeds are. And we watched some of the, you know, some other reviews and kind of got different um, thoughts than we had, we had ourselves originally, right? Right. I think they're fast. I think they were fast. Yeah. They slowed down a little bit. They're still fast. Yeah. Put them on ramp. You'll see in these videos, I ran them against my Ferrara carpet. I ran them against Guardian carpet. I ran them against Castell X carpet. I even ran them against the uh, Siva slashers, and they beat the slashers. And those are fast. That is a fast bet. It is. And these things, I mean, we've been beating the heck out of yep. these things. Because originally, when I got them, I thought they were, I wanted them to be a faster wizard out. Right. But they turned out to be more like a faster wizard. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, well, I'm hoping this is going to stretch. I'm hoping it's going to slow down more. And none of those things ever happened. Yeah, that was my initial reaction throwing that bag was... Fast. That's yeah. way faster than it's, I expected. That's why we're so delayed on, on film. I mean, we wanted to get these out quicker, you right. know. But we've just been testing this bag so much, seeing what we're doing. It's just holding tight. Yeah. So the materials on the Valkyrie, uh, the BG claims this is exclusive to them. It, it's thicker than the Viper R carpet. Uh, but it just seems, I mean, doesn't it look like just essentially just a tighter weave of the Viper R carpet? It, it does. And it's more, it has more of a silky feeling uh -huh. than like a carpet so feeling. Maybe they went for the same pattern, but added more polyester in there or something. I mean, you, I mean, you can see they're fuzzing up. And again, these have been played a lot in, on all conditions and all floor surfaces. And mm -hmm. I mean, they're fuzzed up a little bit, but not as much as we would see on, you know, your normal, you know, Viper style. Uh, hybrid side. Right. Uh, and then the fast side, I mean, that's just the same as the BG Witcher, which is actually becoming a pretty popular fast side nowadays. Template, these are uh, both medium templates. Were the measurements exactly the same when you took them? The Wizard stretched a hair a bit more yeah, than the Valkyries. I imagine the fabrics were probably the same at first. But yeah, I mean, compared to the Wizards, they were just a tiny bit smaller and fuller. But I mean, Wizard Elves are pretty dang floppy yeah, and thin, yeah. so that's where that came from. So the fill and flop on them, uh, you definitely feel it's a mixed fill of some sort. It seems to have a little bit more round beads in it than flat fill, especially compared to the Wizard L, but I don't think it's all round beads like the Wizard would be, right? So it, it's kind of a mix in between the Wizard and the Wizard L, and I'm just hoping that they come out with the Valkyrie L, and then you'll all be super happy by that. Uh, yeah, it's a good, it's got a good feel. Uh, it's not super floppy, but I mean, the bag has flop to it. Yeah, it's honestly right where I like it. Yeah. You know, it's not so floppy where I can't get a good grip on it, but it's floppy to get the advantage of having a floppier bag. We'll talk about the break-in. Uh, Craig spent, uh, you know, majority of the time working on that, and you, you briefly touched on it. The Valkyries, they took a bit. It did. I, even after the break-in process, I mean, I, I still felt like... I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like you can't. This is one of those bags you can't give up on. Yeah. You know, you get on Facebook and you see, oh, I threw a few down and backs and they're for sale or whatever. Well, if you only throw that a couple times down and back, you're not gonna like it, right? Yeah. So uh, I threw a bunch of air mails with them, you know, trying to beat the heck out of them. But uh, it took a while. Uh, it never really stretched like I thought it was going to. But uh, you got to be patient with the breaking on those bags. Yeah, I remember when we first had them out of camp. If you remember saying to me, I'm like, I feel like he's got a little more to go. And you're like, man, I'm like, I, I did so much to the back. <laughs> so, but they're, I mean, where they're at now feels really good. Maybe they still got a little bit more to go. I'd be kind of surprised, but, um, yeah, we'll see. We're, we're still, still going to beat them up. <laughs> yeah, they're going to, these bags are going to get a lot of Because I'm telling you, I really think uh, BG's going to come out with a Valkyrie L. So we're going to hold on to these. We're going to yeah. beat them up some more. And then maybe we can do a video when those come out. Yep. Forgiveness on the Valkyries, it's a pretty forgiven bag. I guess it's kind of hard to explain. Um, at, at first, like I said, it, it was super fast, but it kicked all the time. Yeah. You know, and then it's, it's almost like once that slow side finally broke down, 
it had a nice soft landing on the board and it became pretty uh, forgiving. Yeah, I enjoyed the forgiveness on those bags. I actually, you know, I didn't throw them early in the break in like you did. Mm -hmm. They were pretty forgiving, you know, once I started getting my hands on them and I had no complaints with those and I was pleasantly surprised. You know, with that bag, I expected to have a little bit more trouble with kicks and, you know, kid controlling exactly what Yeah, with that fill and then, you know, yeah, the whole that's what I'm saying. And the bag. bag. Right. Yeah, that's that's kind of my thought. I, I thought it was going to be way less forgiving than what it is. Yeah, I, exactly the same. I was pleasantly surprised with it. All right, getting into the whole bodiness on these, uh, the Valkyries, they do great. Right. Uh, I had no complaints. They do a little bit better than the Wizard Else, and I think that's just a little bit faster of a bag, so you're going to get that slide in a little more. And, you know, pairing bone, we know, can plug a hole up quite a bit sometimes, and the Valkyries didn't do that. Yeah, the, yeah, the herring bone, I mean, it's sometimes you think it's going to go in, and it just hangs there, and it definitely did not have that problem with the Valkyrie. Uh, I mean, it's a little too full. You're not going to get that accidental corner right, ball ready right. to go around. But, but if, if you're, you're on, on, I mean, if you need to get around something and you know you're going to catch the back of a hole, it's fast enough to swing around and fall in. Yeah. I know the one day, which, you, you know, we'll have some of the footage of, um, we had a lot of good footage of these going in the holes, but these actually did a couple things that we weren't expecting on ones where they, they just hung and then just, you know, it took three, four, five seconds, but they kept moving and going in. But that was an outlier with those, the one that Harry <laughs> Yeah, that's I just wanted right. to bring that up because I was, we were kind of surprised by how it was acted that day. Collectability, and these have got to be some of the best yeah. collectible bags you've ever played, right? Yeah, they are way up the list. You know, part of that being is, you know, the they're not, you know, overly floppy, so they do, you know, grab each other. They... You know, you get that tumbleweed effect that I like so much when I'm trying to collect a bag. Mm -hmm. um, the speed, so they're really good. If you have a blocker there, it's easier to, you know, get that blocker in. And Yeah, because you don't have to throw them a lot harder, right. you know, to move. Plus, if it's sitting on the slow side, the slow side's faster, so it's going to start moving a little bit easier. And, uh, yeah, they were they were collecting like crazy. Yeah, and that, that's, that's a great point. That's where a lot of times I struggle with, you know, especially simple blocker collects to where, I feel like I got to throw it harder if I'm sitting, you know, on a herringbone side or something like that. And then you're off target. Yeah, yeah, you know, I missed by half a bag or whatever. Just clip the corner. And these Valkyries, they move so well on the board. I just same throw, slow side, was able to push. It, it was it was enjoyable and capable shots. Uh, so if I'm looking at this as the perspective of an average player, they're both really good bags yes. for an average player. Because yes, I know that the pros can do whatever the heck they want to do with those bags. You mm -hmm. see it all over TV. And, and I, I guarantee they can do it with those. those. But these Wizard Elves, I mean, they're great. Everybody knows that because they're floppy and they're forgiving and they're, you know, they're easy to play. And then the Valkyries, like we said, we thought they was going to be way more active than what they are, but they're really not. So they kind of calm you down and that, yeah. it just makes playing Cornhole easier. Yeah. And uh, don't get us wrong, they're still active. You can still, both these bags can pretty much do every shot that's out there. You know, the, the Wizards are going to be a better blocker if you're looking at the two and, and you like playing a dirtier game or the Wizard L is going to be, you know, an easier bag to block because of the speeds and, you know, the, the hybrid side on it. But, you know, those, they do it all. I mean, I even, I've been trying to learn how to roll. I'm not there yet, you know, and the way I'm doing it's probably not the right way at all. But I'm getting there, and I was—I had a few rolls with the Valkyrie, and I was—I was pretty pretty happy with that because I was concerned with how fast they were at the time. I'm like, this yeah. thing's just gonna hit the slide, no matter you know how it hits the board. But no, they they tumbled and rolled, so that was yeah. yeah. And I hit the craziest cut coin slot shot. We'll, we'll of my see life. it. We'll see it. Actually, here, put it right here see. against my wife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I even yeah. called her before I told her no, I'm gonna go off cut. You know and then, Roll on over, hit it, yeah, you know, right. So, I mean, it, these bags, you know, they're going to be good for the average player and someone, you know, that's trying to learn how to do more shots, right? So how will these bags make you better? I'll go with the Valkyries first. You know, they're going to make you better because of, you know, things that we've said. Like, that, that's a confidence bag. Once I really started throwing those a lot, like, mm -hmm. I felt confident. I felt like I was going to do what I needed to at the time. So that alone was huge, and I, I felt better that day because of the confidence that bag gave me. Um, just something about it. Everything was right. The hand fill, the way it reacted on the board, the speed that I wanted. So if, if you're looking for that, if you're struggling a bag that you feel confident with, check these out, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it does still kick a little bit, but you can cut it too, which is crazy because, you know, you're cutting a fast bag or whatever, so it's going to teach you how to control that fast bag, but actually how to manipulate that fast bag, which is odd. You don't normally get that in a fast bag, right? Right, right. 
Yeah, and for the you know average player, I mean, we all know the Wizard L and you know those materials. Um, you know, they're going to help in all aspects. They're a great bag if you're you know trying to develop from being just a hole runner, mm -hmm. you know, into somebody that's got different shots for different scenarios. So they're they're going to make you better with practice and giving you that you know capability of making every shot that's out there. Yep. And the batteries are going to do that as well. But just a little, uh, I feel more confident. Touch, Touch on the company information a little bit. BG, they're easy to find. Their website's just bgcornhole.com. They do have a Facebook page, which is just at bgcornhole. There isn't like one dedicated group for these bags, but it seems like there's a bunch of groups for these bags. And it's almost like they're... Uh, they have, must have uh, regional ambassadors or whatever. Some yeah. of the bags. It's like they all started their own. So you might get lucky, go on there and find the one, you know, the BG group that's in your area. And then you can hook up with your ambassador and everything. Speaking of the, you know, the availability, you know, with BG as a company in general, uh, the availabilities on these bags are, are the Wizard Elves, you know, plentiful, right? You know, not going to have any issues getting those. Or we're in the period now. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but we're rolling out the 25, um, you know, stamps. And Valkyries, I was on the website today, they're, they're available, uh, kind of limited in, in the options right now, but I think very soon we're, we're probably going to get flooded with options for these Valkyries. Uh, actually, tonight, they're releasing all their world designs uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Central. It's not going to do you any good because this is going to be way past that. Right, but, uh, right. So I imagine by the time you see this, even if their website isn't stocked, like I said, get a hold of your local ambassador or whatever because they have exclusive designs too. And on to our final thoughts, we're going to start with cost, and I'm giving them a half bagger. I mean, they're, they're high. And that's what makes it tough, you know, because we've talked about how much we like these bags. You know, the, the, <laughs> the, the quality's there. And, you know, for us, you know, maybe we'll just go right into the do we recommend at this point because, you know, absolutely recommend these bags. But if, if you're a backyard player trying to, you know, dive more into cornhole, learn what bags for you, experiment, it's hard to stomach these prices when we can get, you know, you've seen some of our other reviews. There's other companies out there making extremely quality bags for considerably less, you know, money. So our overall rating on these bags, and I don't know, this might vary from mine, and I got an explanation for mine, but I'm giving the Valkyries a two and a half. Uh, they're easily a top ten favorite bag of mine. Yeah. I'm waiting for the Valkyrie L's to come out because I think that's going to be a top five, top three favorite bag of mine. So I want to set this bar a little bit low so when they do come out, I can raise it, you know, quite a bit. I mean, I can almost go a three, you know, on them as well. Like I said, I, I the confidence factor that I had with that bag is something I haven't experienced with a whole lot of bags. So, you know, me personally, I'm going to give it a three just because of that and, you know, everything we talked about with it. So anyways, if you're going to be average of something, you may as well be average of Cornwall.